you don't have to get stuck on the same boring appearance on your Windows desktop. Instead, you can actually set up this simple customization to achieve an outstanding outlook. Welcome to this channel. Let's get straight to it. First of all, we're going to head on to the browser. The first step is to download Windock and as usual, I'll be leaving the links in the description for you guys. Now go ahead to this download icon, click on it. Now you can proceed to the setup.exe file, click on that. I'm going to minimize this. Okay, I'm going to run the setup, click on next, yes, next, install it, click on finish. So here we have Windock. By default, you're going to get this interface, but we're not going to do anything just yet. We're going to head on back to the browser. Now we're going to download this wallpaper and codes that I'll be using later on in this video. Go right here to this download icon, click on that, proceed to the downloads. Now here's the zip file we just downloaded. We're going to extract it, proceed to extract all and click on it. Select extract. Just going to X on this. So here's the folder we just extracted from this raw file. I'm going to minimize this. Now back to Windock, go ahead to explore. And here we have vast majority of themes right here and we're going to be using just three in this video and the first one is going to be windows 11 taskbar styler go ahead to details click on install ignore these guys harmless warning go ahead to accept risk and install click on that once we're done with the installation we're going to add on back to the downloads straight to this folder which we extracted earlier double click on this taskbar styler code highlight everything here Control a i'm going to copy copy Minimize it, head on back to Windows, go on to advanced. Now scroll down a bit to mod settings. We're going to delete the content here, paste the code we just copied, click on save. Now we can see that we have this rounded taskbar with a bit of blur effect. On to the next one, go back to explore. And this time we'll go for Windows 11 start menu styler. Click on details. Install, proceed to install it, wait for it. We head on back to the same folder. Now this time I'm going for the start menu codes, double click on that, Control A to highlight on it and copy, minimize it. Now I'm going to head on back to Windock, navigate to advanced, under mode settings, delete everything here, now paste the one we just copied, click on save. So if we minimize this, open your start menu, you can now see that we have a unique start menu with blur effect as well, which is looking pretty cool. Now to the next one, we head on back to Windock. Proceed to explore. Head on to Windows 11 Notification Center Styler. Click on Details. Install it. Proceed to install. Wait for it. Once you're done with that, again, we head on to the folder. And this time, we're going for Notification Styler Codes. Double click on that. Control A to highlight everything. Copy. Minimize this. Head on back to Windock. Proceed to Advanced. On our mode settings, we're going to get rid of this content. Paste the codes we just copied. Click on Save. And if we minimize this, now you can see that we have this nice looking notification center styler with blur effect. Now we're going to change this wallpaper, although you can use any wallpaper of your choice. And I've provided this wallpaper in the same folder. I'm going to be using this wallpaper. I'm just going to highlight on it. Right click on it and set as desktop background. I'm going to minimize this. Now we have this colorful wallpaper which is looking good. Now we're done with window. I'm going to close it. And I'm going to close this as well. Now we're going to download and install Raymeter. Go back to the browser. Now here's the website right here. Simply go down here, click on the download icon. Straight up, click on the setup. Next, install and finish it. And we're going to get rid of these themes. Just right click on this, unload skin. Right click, unload skin. We're going to do the same for everything here. On to the next one, guys. We're going to install one Remeter skin. Go back to the browser. And here we have this date and time skin in visualskins.com. Scroll down here a bit. Click on this icon to download it. Proceed to launch it. Install. This is beautiful. I was thinking of reducing the size, but I think it's just perfect the way it is. I'm just going to leave it this way. And this goes well with what we have going on down here. We have the surrounded taskbar, unique start menu, blow notification center. Everything is looking good, but we're not done yet. We're going to the next one right here. Head on back to the browser. Here we have Explorer Blow Maker. Proceed to the right side here. Scroll down. Click on latest. Scroll down again. 
I'm going to click on the first one here, this release x64.zip. Click on that. I head on to the file location. I'm going to extract this. Go on to extract all. Click on that. Extract. X on this. Now to keep this organized, I'm going to take this folder away from the downloads. Just highlight on it. Cut. Now go onto your window C and paste it right here. Open the release folder. Go on to register. Double click on that. If you get this kind of notification, click on more info. Select run anyway. Click on OK. Next on this. Now if you open the file explorer again, you can see that it has this blur effect and the blur effect is not good enough. Now I'm going to head on back to this release folder. Go to config. Now on the light, we're going to change A to 120. Proceed to file. Click on save. X on this. Close your file explorer and reopen it. Now as you can see, the blur effect is more obvious. And this matches well with the blur effect that we have down here. Now if you want to get back to your previous settings, all you have to do is to uninstall the Windock and uninstall Remeda like you would uninstall every other app. Go to your settings, go on to apps, click on installed apps, search for Windock, go on to these three dots and click on uninstall. Select uninstall. You're going to do the same for Remeda. Then click on uninstall. Okay, I'm not going to uninstall now, so I'm just going to X on this. And for the file explorer, you're going to go back to Windows C, proceed to the release x64 folder, go to release, and you're going to double click on uninstall. Then you can proceed to delete this folder. That is all you have to do to get back to the default file explorer. So that's going to be all for now, guys. If you're yet to subscribe to this channel, do well to subscribe, leave a like, and also drop your comments at the comment section. Have a nice day. Peace out.